forgot to bring flowers. These are pretty flowers. I'm sure no one will miss it if I take one. This is terrible, but no one will miss it, I hope. Hey, Scotty. How are you, baby bro? I'm sorry it's been a while. Oh, look at this place. It's a mess. Freaking leaves everywhere. I wish I could say I have a great lead on your case, but Davies closed it. And there's nothing I can do about it. And this thing that I've got is still out of control. <sighs> How are you? How are things on the other side? <laughs> I'll come more often, and I'll bring Dad next time. I promise. And I'll keep this promise. Excuse me. Yes? I don't mean to be rude, but you took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... Uh, yeah, that, uh... <laughs> Don't sweat it. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying. You lost your brother too? Yeah. I'm wicked sorry. I'm Erica. And you are... Cordelia. I'm so embarrassed, Cordelia. I'll pay for a wreath. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, really. It was just funny. You were so natural at it. <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> so sneaky. Oh, yes, well, I'm known for that. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'll be over there. Hey there. Hi, Erica. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Has it gotten better? A little. It's not so much the years that pass, but that you learn to accept it. And that's always the hardest part. Scotty was murdered. I'll only rest when I put whoever killed him behind bars. Are you a cop? FBI. And yeah, that's what makes it even harder to accept. You look familiar to me. That wouldn't surprise me. I hang around here a lot. Sometimes I even sneak in at night. <laughs> really? Wow. That's... dedication. I take care of the family business. Max was an ace at it. He would always tell me what to do. So I still come here to talk to him. Or talk the issues through myself, I guess. I see you do the same with Scott. Is that... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be intrusive. Yes, yeah, Scotty. I don't come here as often as I would like, though. But I must have seen you here before. I have to go now. Well, hey, you seem alright. If you ever want to hang out, you can probably find me around here. <laughs> I've never been asked to hang out in a cemetery before. Uh, maybe in high school. We can go somewhere else. You know, as morbid as it sounds, the cemetery is fine. We can be close to them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. It was nice meeting you. Hey, Erica, you dropped this. Rose? You know her? Yes. She took a lot of the pain away. Are you seeing her? I'm trying to figure out if I want to. You should. She's really something special. Hmm. 
Thanks. There you are, my dear. I'm not too thrilled about it, but yeah, here I am. Hey, Rose. Yes, my dear? I've had the time to think about last night. About this thing of mine. Your vision, you mean? <laughs> How do you know about that? Many of my customers ask the same questions. You do not believe in the crystal ball. Neither do some of them. Sometimes we mock what most haunts us. All right, I'm getting tired of this runaround. If you want me to be upfront with you, why don't we start by you telling me what you know, and then we can take it from there. Very well. What do you want to know? Until a few days ago, I seemed to have some control of it. But now, it's just, it's very painful now when I try to use it. Sometimes I see myself, things that haven't happened to me. Hmm. Is that bad? No. But I wonder why is it happening? Before, you always saw the past? Yes. Maybe you are evolving. What? If you can see the past in ways no one else can, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? That would be amazing. Has something happened to you recently? Something upsetting? My boss closed a case that I wasn't ready to close. Let us put this vision of yourself aside for now. Let us focus on your ability to see the past. Are you ready for some training with Mama Rose? I feel really uncomfortable talking about my visions. You have been using them, have you not? I have, but... So what is the big deal? This is something that you have. Embrace it fully, because it is a part of you, and it will not go away. What do you know about this stuff? You remind me of myself. I used to be as inquisitive as you are, I wanted to know it all, the very last detail of everything. And sometimes I asked more than maybe I should have. But I don't regret my life or the places it took me. This store here is living proof of where I've been and who I am. Are you going to answer my question? You are what some people call a scion. A what? A scion. Listen. I'm telling you what you want to know, but in return, I'm going to have to ask you to let go a wee bit, to hear the stories, to let me help. If you won't let me help, there's nothing I can do. I'm ready. Very well. Tell me how you use your power. I... I touch something and it happens. Good. You are not afraid to use this power to your advantage. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel like less of a freak. It is an amazing gift, my dear. Never forget that. Now I'm going to teach you a neat trick. I like to call this projection. With it, you will be able to extract the memories from a place to see the events from the time you wish. Places have memories? There's energy everywhere, my dear. When you learn how to tap onto it, well, there will be no one that can hide a secret from you. Now, we probably shouldn't be doing this, but what the heck? It'll be more interesting for you. Your friend Jean came here a long while ago. I want you to go back to one of the days he was here. For that, we're going to need something from him a very personal item he holds on to all the time. The rest we will find here. So you want me to go get something personal from him? 
something he would have carried three years ago. Won't this be fun? Yes, my dear. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. No one's looking this way. I'm an ace at picking locks. Davies will be wicked pissed at me when she finds out I broke in. But whatever. I got a case to solve. Davies' promotions. I liked her more when she was one of us. We don't always see eye to eye on things, but she's still a good friend of the family. Information on some of our latest cases. Davies always liked that picture. She told me she pictures herself in that lighthouse every time she needs some time off from all the crazy shit we see. <laughs> That's Davies' favorite mug. She's always carrying it around, especially when she interrogates people. She named it Phoebe. Say goodbye to your badge, Erica. What's this? Another one will be hanged tonight. What did the rest of this say? That's from Davy's niece. <laughs> How cute. Davy's loves that child to pieces. What's this? Another one will be hanged tonight. What did the rest of this say? Oh, crap. She's gonna skin me alive. Damn! What's the password? Alright, what do we have here? Interesting. Why did she keep this message? She deletes everything else. Terence, I sent you a piece of the antique that was sent to my office. If Reed comes by with the piece you say she found, Make sure you get it from her. Call me right after. Looks like I'm going for a new record on how many laws I can break today. Gallagher. 
I heard from Bowlby that he's having problems with storing his equipment over there. Let him do what he needs. I need you to cooperate while the transition takes place. Davies. <laughs> Hope that sounds Davies enough. And sent. And delete. I'm not only walking into the lion's den here, I'm dancing the lombada with the freaking thing. My partner in crime. John has always taken a protective role with me, especially when I get my crazy ideas. McCoy? Red? So I went to see that woman, Rose. And? Uh, I don't know. You know I hate that spooky shit, but she seemed to know something. You gotta deal with these flashes of yours now, before they seriously screw up your ability to do your job. I guess. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. The guy doesn't go anywhere without that thing. A present from his dad, or something like that. John, can I borrow your lighter? Red, no one touches the lighter but me. Yeah, but it would really help me out. No. All right, John. I followed your advice yesterday, went to see Rose, sucked it up, and cooperated. Now I need your lighter so that Rose can help me, and you are going to let me borrow it. Damn. You put it like that. Fine. Take it. Thank you, John. I'll bring it back. You better. I found what we need. John never lets go of this. This is perfect. I will leave this here. Now, let us start with this object alone. Close your eyes. Okay. I want you to picture every item in this place as if they were people, as if they had minds that contain memories. Concentrate on this room and this room only. I just... I don't... Concentrate. I'm trying, but... Whoa! What's happening? What can you see? I can see this room, but I can... It's hard to explain. I see things that... Concentrate on those things. Now I want you to separate them and break them apart one by one. I want you to single out the memories that were attached to Jean when he was here. How the hell do I do that? You will with a bit of help from me. Your friend always sat by the crystal ball table 
and there is a particular place in here he loved to hang around. <laughs> but you probably know what that is. For this to work, you need to focus on three things. The last being this item you brought from him. Focus on them. John? Come on, child. Don't be scared. If you're seeing him, he's not fully real. But you can still interact with him, in a way. Sometimes that's what you do with these projections. Fill in the holes, you know? Other times, just seeing them will be enough for your goal. This is... As much as I hate to say it, this is pretty cool. Use it well, and never be afraid of it. Thank you, Rose. Talk to me, my dear. Let those nasty demons out. Alice left me, but it's good. I mean, I mean, she can be finally be happy. She's gone to her sisters. They're living their expensive McMansion. Ah, Christ, I don't know how to be myself anymore. You know, the, the fat guy that eats the donuts and solves the case at the end of the day. Now I'm just going through the motions. But there are always demons that bite us and chew us and take our peace with the world away. But the human heart is big and noble. And yours is also kind and gentle. And it is in that strong heart of yours where you can always find yourself. There's this girl in the office. I was lucky to train her a couple of years back. Bright, smart, sharp, <laughs> kicks like a man, shoots better than any of the old farts in the station. Got it from her father. He was a captain of the BPD. Always made our lives easier. I knew her brother, too. Scott. Not made of the same stuff as Erica, but, but still a cool kid. Last month, we lost him to a piece of shit murderer. The things that life gives us and the things that life takes from us, we have no control over those. We do with them what we can. Ah, bullshit! Scott should still be alive today. That kid didn't have to pay for our crap. He didn't deserve it, and neither did she. I was dumb to think I could pretend it was all fine. I guess it had to happen to her for it to hit me. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I can tell you a thing or two about demons. How to face them, how to fight them. I've gotten people that have hit rock bottom to stand up firm and walk again. But this demon of yours, I cannot tell you what to do with it. That is up to you. I am sorry, my dear. So am I, so am I. <laughs> 